Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris and welcome back to another episode of Linux Tech Geek. So today I want to do a different type of video than what I typically do and I want to focus on a Gen 2 specific problem. Now if you guys are Arch users or Fedora or Ubuntu, this really isn't going to help you out. However, if you do want to learn a couple of things about Gen 2, then this video might be for you. So today's video, we're going to be talking about using Git instead of rsync to update our repository. Now, the reason that you might want to use Git instead of rsync is number one, rsync is slow. And I'm going to show you guys the difference between rsync and Git. Number two is that whenever you do a emerge sync, and you are using rsync, you are grabbing a snapshot from someone else's computer, or you may be grabbing it from a university. Typically, these snapshots are a couple days old. So, you're not always getting the up-to-date software. So, by using Git, um, number one, Git is so much faster. Number two, the repository is actually hosted on GitHub. And because Microsoft owns GitHub, um, typically their servers are always stable. Um, it doesn't put too much stress on their servers. Um, so um, that's why I kind of switched over from using uh, rsync to Git. But I want to show you guys how you can configure your file uh, in your portage directory to uh to take advantage of this so let's go ahead and hop on hop on the uh, keyboard and i'll show you guys what i've done and uh how to do this all right so we are on the desktop here and let's go ahead and let's open up my um repo.configuration file and um now I just changed this back to rsync because I do want to show you guys the difference between the speed of rsync versus using git. Um, so this is going to be the rsync version. Um, and you can see this is just standard, standard stuff right here. Um, I haven't, I haven't tweaked this file or anything like that. So um, what we need to do is we are going to do a emerge sync and you guys can see the difference between the rsync version versus the git version. Now, one thing I will say about git is you need to have git installed on your machine obviously before you can uh you can use that so um most linux users these days they know what git is they probably have git installed um but i do want to want to go ahead and tell you guys that you do need to have git installed before obviously you can uh you can use it so but you can see this is the rsync version um and this is you know this is taking this is taking a little while um it's got to grab all that metadata and all of that type of stuff so um taking a little while um but like i said um it is grabbing from you know i don't even know probably a university i would assume um that's hosting this so um it puts a lot of stress you know on their servers and everything like that so um they even give you a, a nice little warning I'm telling you guys that uh, if you do use the rsync version um, and you constantly do emerge slash slash sync that they can ban you um, from using their servers because it puts that much stress on their uh, on their servers and th that's another reason that I, I switched to uh, get is just to kind of help out um, with the uh, those server kind of loads there so as soon as this gets done, um, we will switch over the, um, we're going to switch over that other configuration file and um, I'm, we're going to change this to use git 
um and then we'll run the uh r sync again and or now r sync the uh the sync again and then uh you will see a uh, significant speed increase Oh, and I'm also going to have to show you a command to get rid of um, your e-builds. Um, and that is because we, if we sync, or it, yeah, if we sync with our sync, and then we, um, and then we switch over to get, um, it, need, it needs to be the get version. Um, so we do have to, unfortunately, we do have to uh, delete those uh, those e bills that we just pulled down from there. So, but you can see uh, it took took a little, a little while. Um, and then, if you have any other uh, repositories and stuff, like I have, I've got the I've got Brave, and then I got NordVPN for. So, um, those always kind of take a while too. Um, so let's go ahead and um, let's switch this over to use get instead of um, instead of R sync, and then I'll show you guys the command to uh, to remove um, your uh, repositories. All right, so I'm going to do a vertical split, and then I want to actually. Um, so this is pretty much the difference, right? Um, this is not okay. No. Root. Um. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the current file right here, right? And then this is the get version. So all we need to do is we need to change some of these uh, variables right here, and we need to change them to this. Um, so the location can stay the same, but obviously the sync type is this. Yes. Okay. The sync type has to be get, right? And then the sync URI or is pretty much the URL, right? So we can do just copy this over github.com slash gen2 slash gen2. Um, you can also get this get this one to um this get web dot gen two dot org slash repo um that one was kind of giving me problems um about a week ago i don't know if it was something to do with their servers or what but um it did kind of give me some problems so i just went ahead and i just switched it over to the uh github um address there but this completely works and uh this has not given me any sort of uh issues which is good um so we can we got auto sync yeah we can remove so i have this one over here kind of a little different um i think we could just remove we can just remove this Yeah, we can remove the uh, that keys. I think we can remove this too. I'm not for sure. Um, I didn't remove it on the actual my real file over here. Um, just in case. Um, yeah, that pretty much looks. All this stuff pretty much looks good. So the main thing that you want to remove. 
is you want to remove rsync so you want to switch rsync to get you want to put the get hub address right here and then you want to remove that that keys uh file okay and then after that we're just um oh no after that we just want to write that um now before we can sync our repository we have to use this command right here um and you only have to do this for the initial update to switch over to get um so you want to want to do rm uh, and of course you need to be root uh, so you do rm slash frv bar slash bar slash db repos gen2 and this is going to remove all of those e-builds that we synced earlier using rsync um so gonna remove those that takes a that takes a little while and all of those are gone now we can do emerge merge sync like normal and watch how fast this is compared to what we was using a minute ago <laughs> done that's it and that and now if i do you know i i can i can update my computer just like normal um but you saw how fast it was um compared to our sync and that was from a fresh wiped out repository um so i i highly re recommend you guys switching over to get um instead of using rsync like i said the um those servers that rsync is on um the repositories for rsync like for, for the universities and stuff like that um they do take a, a nice server hit so every time we uh we want to update uh but anyway i'm rambling i want to thank you guys for watching until next time you guys take care be safe and peace.